Welcome to the Demand Chain Summer Series where we're gonna be covering all the productivity features that are sometimes missed, but are really, really awesome if you can get your arms around them. Today I'm out at a T-ball game. I'm supposed to be keeping score, uh, so I'm gonna get back to that. But in a, a moment, I'm gonna hit back to the office and I'm gonna show you a feature in Salesforce that helps managers and reps keep score on a daily, weekly basis that uh, should be taken advantage of all the time. Uh, it's a really, really great feature from Salesforce and I wanna make sure that you can, you can leverage it as you go about your day. So enjoy, and we'll see you at the end. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a new feature called Pipeline Inspection. At Demand Chain, we use this on a daily and weekly basis to manage our go-to-market activities. You find it in the Opportunities tab, and when you go there, you'll start looking at your normal list views that you've been accustomed to. But if you look off to the right, you'll see a button called Pipeline Inspection. If you don't, talk to your admin and have them uh, turn this on for you. It opens up to a chart view or it'll open up to the inspection view and we'll look at both of them today. Here in the inspection view, I'm first able to pick what opportunities I'm looking at. Defaults to myself, but is it my team or another group? And then I can pick what uh, close date I should focus on. This month, this week, or a custom at the bottom as you see. And this will show you all the opportunities in that uh, date range. Then I can say, show me the changes to the opportunity since a, a point of time, one week ago, one month, etc. And lastly, I can apply filters to isolate the records that I see. Now, if we go over to the left and uh, click on any individual opportunity, you'll see that sidebar and it'll open up some details there. If you hover over a value in the columns, uh, you can see what it's changed. Green is good, red is bad, according to Einstein, giving you a little AI there. And then you can click on a pencil to actually make date uh, changes to any of the columns. In this case, we did a date in, in the stage. Here I clicked on the record and it opened that sidebar, and now I'm seeing some details about the opportunity, activities, what's coming up, what's in the past, and it gives you some indicators if it's uh, a good thing or a bad thing. Now as we come back to the middle and look at these uh, dollar totals, you see them activating and as I click on them, the data below isolates. These are all of our one opportunities. If I click on lost, these are all the opportunities we lost in this term. These are the opportunities we moved in from outside of the date range that I picked. If I flip over to the chart view, I see the same information, but I can see it progress. On the left side, that's the pipeline at the beginning of this date range. I, I created 8.4 million in new. I brought in 244,000 opportunities from a different time frame. There you can see the deals that I won, the deals that I lost, and what you're left with on the far right is the actual pipeline as of today. So this shows you how your pipeline changes from one point in time to another, which is very powerful as you're analyzing the effectiveness of your reps. Another thing to point out is the overdue button, which shows you opportunities that are overdue, which is always important to keep an eye on to keep your pipeline clean. Hopefully this is a great overview for you to get you excited about the pipeline inspection feature. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, hit like on the bottom and reach out to Demand Chain if you need any help with your Salesforce. I look forward to bringing another one of these really, really soon.